Hello, welcome back to Dead by Exhaustion the Musical, and I know I've been gone for a while, but the reason why is because in my spare time I actually work contract work for robotics companies. So yeah, if you out there are disliking this video or running a hate comment, let you, I'm just gonna let you on a heads up, I will go Terminator 2 on your ass. Anyway, so I have a really aggressive build for both Dredge and Sadako. I'm running the same exact perks on Dredge and Sadako. And here's the idea. So we're going to be utilizing Genetic Limits. This is a perk that if you don't know what it does, I don't blame you. This perk is very underwhelming by itself. And I would say it's basically useless by itself. But here's the thing. There is something that people don't think about. And that is pairing this with something like Mindbreaker that pauses the timer. Mindbreaker is the only perk right now that pauses the exhaustion and blindness status effect timer this means that when survivors do a heal what are survivors more inclined to do to do a generator so this means that 32 seconds is just going to be paused the entire time and then there is a lingering actually the lingering five seconds does not work anymore it used to work this is why mindbreaker used to be really common with blood echo and because blood echo makes it where you're exhausted and hemorrhaged for 45 seconds and this would actually buff the five seconds to 50 seconds on exhaustion but it doesn't do that anymore so it's more of a lingering thing and as you can see the build is very damned if you do damn if you don't so we have anti-heal with or not anti-heal but if they heal they become f permanently exhausted you're gonna see in the matches that i wasn't able to call out a single exhaustion perk and the survivors were all running exhaustion perks and that's a good thing if i can't call it out that means the build is working and then we have friends till the end, so this is going to make people downable. Very good info on a aggressive mobility killer, uh, or for a mobility killer like Dredge and Sadako. Make your choice to make people downable as well. Very good for mobility, and Dredge and Sadako can both just teleport to the hook. Dredge via Remnant and Sadako via TV. And then we have the cooldown. This basically, both these add-ons, I'm just going to sum it up. You basically have Nightfall without Nightfall, basically. And then Sadako, we have Reiko's Watch for the anti-loop. And then we have Bloody Fingernails for added mobility. And I hope you guys enjoy. It was actually a very fun build. I did not think it would be this good. Alright, we got the Suffocational Pit. Which is our body. Isn't that right, Dredge? So let's consume them. Actually, I don't have the Mori on, so I won't be able to consume them. I think I just saw someone walk at me. Or, like, walk to the right? I didn't take my schizophrenia pills, so that could be some- Ah, it was so. it was- Oh my god, the entire team is here. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, I thought that notific- Oh, there's not even a window here. I thought that notification was someone vaulting a window. You're prepping a fast vault. You don't make said fast vault. We have the green add-on, so we get her power, like, basically immediately. Ooh, that's not the best thing I want to do. It's for someone on this side. You don't fast vault that. I, either I was going to hit you or the other person, and I'm fine with both. I kind of whiffed on that a little bit. You guys see that? I almost missed that entirely. You guys are ready for me? Okay. I don't think you locked this one, though. Where is that one? It's right there. Oh my god, so many juicy targets. Mind game? Oh yeah, just in case the pallet was right there. Excuse me? Jesus. Oh wow, <laughs> she held W, that's funny. But see, we beat her there. We do move 25% quicker, which I don't know where she... Oh, she doubled back immediately. Nice. We have a pallet gym right here. We're going to chase her first because the other person's dead zone. You don't make that. Nice. She's not a pallet thrower. And where are you at? Inside the whole W or something? She went back to the generator. You guys all did. I am going after you. If you're going to play a TNL against me, oh, hell yeah, dude. And you're running... Oh, wait. Why is the entire team here? Maybe she sees my glowing white appendage around the corner, no? That's a death. I am gonna chase you since you have a flashlight. Really? Do it immediately? Yeah, she doesn't expect it. There is a mind game we could do as dredge against flashlighters. What are you guys doing? And the mind game is to put a remnant behind cover a while back. Nice, dude. Nice play. I think she's going to prep a fast vault for this. Yep, I was right. And you're dead. And we pick up this person first. Oh, ho, ho. It's not looking so good. You know, that guy's name is Bang Bang. I don't think they expected it on me. I already saw this ahead of time, just in case you had boil over. You are a cape player, after all. I don't know why I did that. Okay, here's the mind game we can do. You see that? That person has a flashlight. 
She hears the Tardius far away, far away. And we, I'm right here. Ooh, that kind of worked. Not really. We go back. And she's... And this is a plan B. She's stuck at this area now. Okay, I was trying to see if she would pick up. Wait, what? Just in case she had Soul Guard? You guys are a bunch of fruitcakes. Uh-oh. No one's over there? You guys are a bunch of fruitcakes. Do this for the nightfall. We pick you up. They can't flashlight save through the hook. Even if the even if there's a gap between the body because of the entity collision, there's an invisible wall where the flashlight doesn't shine through. Similar how fences are in this game. You can't flashlight someone through like a gate or a fence because there's invisible walls that pretty much hide anything that is entity. You're gonna hold W, right? Yeah, I should have known. That's pretty much like the 101 dredge counter. Is loop in the middle of the map? There we go. Now we have her zoned out at Killer Shack, which is kind of funny to say, but you'd be surprised. Is she, I don't. Does she know I'm holding a remnant? I have no idea. She does. Nice dude. You're playing well so far. You have a pallet here. If she does. You're gonna pre-drop. Nicely done. Put this around the corner. You think she sees it? Now she's gonna see it. And now you're dead. There we go. Let's get rid of this first, shall we? I don't hear anyone. We have make your choice going off, but they're not healing as much as I would hope they are. I didn't hear who screamed. I kind of forgot I was running made for this, not gonna lie. We go here and then we go this way. Maybe we'll push him to the outside of... Ooh, I think it might have. But remember, I'm very loud. They can hear me, yeah. I don't think teleporting to that would be worthwhile. Oh, it would have been. The other person goes for the save. You're going to pre-drop that. Yep. Ooh, she vacuumed it. I actually never see survivors vacuum it like that. So remember, these guys are going to be exhausted for a while. So I'm not going to be seeing any exhaustion perks for the time being. Holding W. That's okay. But I planned it to go after you. You do make that pallet. See if you can beat her to the middle of it. You're going to have to hold W. Perfect. Hold W. She has the distance to be able to keep going that way. Nice, again, nicely done. Look at that, you see how good these people are. This way. You're gonna have to vault that eventually. Oh! Fake quite a remnant down, she holds W, she makes the window. She's gonna fake it, yep. Do this behind cover. She vaults it, we get a hit. No life or anything because they healed it before. You don't make the pallet. <laughs> Your teammate still vaulted it. You guys are a bunch of fruitcakes. What are you guys doing? Uh, I don't think that makes it all the way around. It does. She doesn't make that. Oh, she does. I timed the lunge wrong. Alright, we'll break it. It's pallet in the middle of the map. We want this gone. I can hear you. You're not running to the pallet, so you don't make it. I'm going to swing around the corner just in case she has dead hard. To make it where it's less reactionary. You've got to pick up immediately. I don't think that works. What? Wait, wait, where did she throw that? Whoa, 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 where did she throw that? I know, okay, here's the thing. Killer has no collision for the flashbangs. Interesting. I don't know what your plan is. You don't have decisive or anything. It's not going to work. Even if you time that right, there is a brief window of that just not working. Alright, you're gonna run to this pallet, okay. Made her the whole W, perfect. So now she's isolated where she's gonna have to play this. Oh, you thought the pallet was here. I'm guessing no windows opportunity. No windows opportunity, it seems like. Make your choice screamed on Kate. We remember that. Whoops. I think they locked this, right? Yeah, 100%. There's Meg. We want to find the Kate, though, which probably would run to Killer Shack. I would have if I'm insta-downable, yeah. You, there is two different ways to play Killer Shack. It's dredge, depending. It's entirely depending on how the survivor plays it. You don't make that. That's a huge mistake. Basically, if they pre-drop the pallet, you can put the remnant in that corner, and they'll make it where if they vault the window, they get hit. If they vault the pallet, they get hit. But you have to be very keen on the audio so you can hear if they're slow-vaulting anything. 
You got flip-flop with that? No, or a power struggle? Looks like not. We're trying to do the gens. Oh. Interesting. We break this, and she's in a corner. We don't really lose any distance. Unless she's gonna go for a save. Which would be interesting. Nice, dude. But I can just re-put it down. I don't think she knows about that entirely. Really? Yeah, I already know. I was baiting for you to come out, so now I have everyone injured at the hook. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> oh, nice. I'll go back to the hook, because someone else is going to be there. Yep. See if we get everyone injured here, so they're going to want to heal. Nice. And someone's still at Killer Shack, and we're going to chase that person that's at Killer Shack still. Right there. That's where you want to put the remnant, just in case she pre-drops a pallet. Oh, really? That's even worse for you. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> Yeah, that, if you play patient as Reg, as you saw, I put the remnant a little bit more indented so that I would have enough time to go around the entire building, because that's a lot of time that I don't see her, and I obviously don't want that, right? Uh, no locker that would give us any benefit. I think I'd rather have my power. Remember, they're all, like, exhausted. Have we seen an exhausted perk yet? Not really. Fastball? No. Yeah, I know. I did that to cut you off the entire time. That's how I play. You don't have dead art anymore. Oh, yeah, we did see a dead art. But to be fair, she was the only one that didn't heal. I, I literally saw you behind the gen. So here's what you do. You go like that. She gets a little bit close, just like that. And now she's forced to play the pallet. Oh, why did I do that? That was a terrible play on my part. Nice. I guess I'll use that to get my Nightfall, but you don't have a flashbang anymore. So, what are you going to do about that? Nothing? Uh oh, you're playing with fire here. That was so close, actually. Wait, those are not your scratch marks. Someone else is here. The Kate is here, apparently? I have no idea. This is locked? I think Kate is on that gen. As I was teleporting, I did not hear anyone injured. No. Oh, do you have Iron Will? Oh no, Kate was there. Okay. Get you to throw that down. It's a waste of a pallet. And I know this place is dead zone because I broke the pallet here. Perfect detaching. It's what you want to do is dredge. Or pretty much any killer that has aggressive mobility. You want to detach as much as you can. Pretend we're playing it. Oh, nice, dude. I thought you would overextend that. This is kind of difficult to play as dredge. There's a lot of spots I can kind of just link to. Yeah, see that? I, I can't see. Ball back. Nope. Okay, that was lucky. I actually got stuck. I forgot. I kind of put the remnant inside the extended hitbox area, which is right between there. So I actually she actually would have made that. All right, down the two gens. Funnily enough, I've never even... I never even looked at the gen number until now. I'm just so fixated. I'm getting as much pressure as I can. Hello. Well, you're dead, because you went for the save. I'm trying to think. Uh, Why did she stand still there? Was she trying to get, like, sprinters back or something, and she just couldn't? Because of the massive cooldown? Hello. You're the last one that needs to go. Hopefully you're okay with that. She does make that. Pallet is down, which is amazing, because we could do like that. Does she know? Is she gonna hold W? Oh, the hatch was right there the entire time. I did not even know that. Wait, did they bring an offering for that? Because if so, I slept on that. Oh, they did. They did bring an add-on or an offering for that. I completely forgot. Well, I mean, she would have made that anyway, because what? She goes the other way. And I and because the hatch spawns more to the pallet side, so she would have made that anyway, even if I knew it was there. Even if I knew it was there. GG guys. GG. So we saw one dead art, it was Talita. This person had head on, we never saw that, which is kind of obvious. Dead art, we never saw that. 
And another dead art. We never saw that. Did this build work, guys? Or do I have dementia and I probably saw every single dead art that could have happened? I'm pretty sure, because here's the thing. We went for eight hooks before we killed someone, which means that we gave them... Uh, we gave them, so there's, okay, there's three dead art, so we gave them six opportunities to use dead art, and we only saw it once. I think that's a victory, and we're playing an M1 killer, and you saw how close each hit was at a pallet, which means they could have used dead hard reactionary. So yeah, I would say this build was successful in that regard, and I think it might be better to not use Sloppy Butcher with it, because you want people to heal, right? Interesting. Alright, we got, we got Dead Dog Salami, which is a pretty good Sadako map. It's based on the TVs, because sometimes TVs are really weird. They're like a hit or miss on this map. They'll be in spots you would never expect ever. Oh, dude, I forgot how short Sadako is in gameplay. It's like if I was added as a killer in this game, this is what the point, uh, POV would be the entire time. No bounce. Land oh no, bounce landing wouldn't even happen. Yeah, that's right. We do a little bit of hit and running. Aha, uh -huh. there is a pallet here. Uh, we're gonna teleport here actually for the condemned and then we're gonna go to the left so she can't hold W anywhere. Uh, I guess I just ate my words, right? But oh, break this. Oh my God, that's so loud. Is there a reason why that's so loud? Nice, she didn't try to run through me. I think she panicked. I think some people forget you can just run through Sadako. She has no collision. We're gonna pretend so she goes through the window. Nice. This music's still going. Okay, no, it didn't really matter. Hmm, there's a lot of split progress everywhere. This team's doing so uh, pretty good so far. They're doing a pretty good job so far. See, if she ran through me, but she did it wrong. She should have went to the pallet. Nice, she fell for that, the invisible. She's not running for the pallet, interesting. You don't make that. That was so close. The other person dropped right here, by the way. Did they turn off the TV? She did. I'm gonna see if I can get a hit on her. She's not gonna make it to that. Yeah, you just found out it was mind gaming, right? Is she gonna turn that off? I have no idea. Dang it, she did turn it off. Really smart attempt, but you timed that, like, you should've just thrown it down. I don't know why you tried to play the stun. When it comes to Sadako, you don't want to play for the stun. And as you saw right there, I slugged that person, so they picked each other up, and guess what? They're both gonna be exhausted for a bit. They're continuing the heal. Unfortunately, the TV there is gone. It's Donzo. Ooh, they have so much progress everywhere. I kind of like it, because that means this team is really good. And I kind of want to showcase a build against a decent team, you know what I'm saying? We have Michaela right here. That's like, what, four generators that have split progress? Really? Remember, no balance landing. She did the heal. Nice. No pallet nearby. You're going to be dead. Whoever goes for the save is going to get make your choice. Which is Sable. That's the perfect uh, candidate to get hit by that. And we're gonna switch the obsession so we can see if it if it luckily goes on Sable or the person getting healed will know if they're holding W or not. Nice. Oh. Okay, my brain kind of deep fried. You guys saw that, right? I thought the other one. Oh. Does this person know about Make Your Choice? Nope, they have no idea. So that means they're not on comms together. At least this person with the other person. Yeah, I I, I already know. I I heard you breathe. And since I heard Elodie breathe, I, I knew she was sticking around. So now we pick up Sable. Here we go. As you guys hear, a lot of gen progress, a lot of gen progress, but the thing is that... Oh, that's so weird. Oh, you didn't see that, you didn't see that. But as you can see, we have no gen regression or gen blocking perks, but we have completely snowballed, so we have the control of the match right here. She's gonna have to go for the save. Do I make that hit? Oh my god, I think I don't think I would have if she went for the body block initially. Nice. Oh, that's really good, actually. The only person doing gens we can immediately uh, handle. Oh, she didn't even see me. I was invisible. Oh, that is really good. So now, also, these hooks are lovely. Do you see how close these hooks are? These hooks are so close together, so every time I get a down, I get an immediate 
immediate unhug. We want to go after one of these too. Probably Michaela. She's the, only, she's the only one not running to an infinite. And the other person has 10% hay, so they make everything they run right now. Make your choice doesn't matter because everyone's pretty much insidownable. I don't know what that was. I think that was a vault at Killer Shack window. I'm guessing the person that got rescued did that. Because they could be running off the record, which means they could play a little bit more ballsy. This is why I run Friends of the End, one of the best info perks. Oh my god, she does make that, but we're going to fake it, so she throws pallet down. There we go. So we don't have to deal with this later. Going for the save, I reckon. Yep. Oh, that was so bizarre. What the hell? How did I hit Michaela? Pretend we go that way, so we catch this person off guard. Wait a second. I'm gonna pre-drop this. That was a weird play, by the way. You don't make that in a hundred years. I know how to loop everything and hug it perfectly great. I haven't even teleported once because I don't even need to. The thing about Sadako is that her Condemned is so bad that I don't use it for... I don't use TVs for Condemned. I only use it for mobility if I need it. Okay, that's not going to be a hit on her. I am speedrunning this entire team. They're they're in complete shambles, and if they try to heal like Michaela is, I'm just gonna instant down them. So we know that Maria went this way. Yeah, I was just gonna say that we know that Michaela has to go for the save. We don't hear anyone. We're gonna go this way. Huh? Where do we think they went? You think Michaela hid somewhere in a bush, right? Imagine if we had the screaming add on. Oh, hello. And you're dead. And we get a hit off this girl. And then we go back after Michaela. Giving him the full fledged onion ring. That's breakdown. Someone has breakdown. Which is. Ha it has to be Sable that has breakdown, right? Yeah. Holy hell. Have you guys seen anyone speedrun a match like this? A Sadako. That is not the condemned strategy. I've been, I've been completely just hooking him, by the way. This is why I swear uh, I swear by uh, snowballing and not slow down perks. I swear by snowballing perks because of this reason. We're so fast, dude. I don't think we make it. Nice, dude. You didn't even panic. Okay, we're gonna have to Rico's watch this, it seems like. Nice, dude. Nice. Okay, Rego Swatch isn't gonna work because the pallet's very safe. At least when she's on that side, which I have to be on that side. The other person's missing skill checks. Really? Nice, dude. She baited, she baited me into getting hit by that. That's a mistake. She kind of zoned herself. I don't know why she held W. Maybe it was brain rot or something? Because I, I get hold W brain rot sometimes when I play Survivor. I'm guessing she didn't have windows and she just hoped that she would make it somewhere. Right over here. Oh, I see her right there. No, you shouldn't fall for that. Wait. Which way did she go? Did she double back immediately? Oh, she just went for the save. Okay. I didn't expect that. I expected her to actually play it. Uh oh. Go that way so she can't see my red light. Because on that uh, killer shack, by the way, you can see the killer's red light through the wall. I don't think there's a point because she could just run through me. Wait, what if I just do this in front of her? I don't think she knows I'm doing it. No, she didn't. Oh my god. Wait, the hatch is right there. Alright, you guys had a really rough match. Sorry, bitch king of Agmar. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Oh, and if you just let me teleport through this once. Just for the points. Thank you. 
Aw, oh, dang, dude. Me letting her go made it so I wasn't able to max out my devious points. I'll have to remember that for next time. Sprint burst. Never even saw that perk activate. Life. Never saw that perk activate. Nothing. Balance landing. Never saw that perk activate, and I even called it that it wasn't going to be a problem. Yeah, see, weirdly enough, this map is good for balance landing if you have Mindbreaker, because every single balance landing spot has a generator, and that's the gen that the survivors are going to be doing. So they were just never able to pull that off. That's the build, though. I, I don't know, dude. This, I think this... Okay, I was gonna say, like, maybe Genetic Limits is, like, no joke. But I think I would rather run Blood Echo, though. You know what I mean? Like, Blood Echo. I, I would say Blood Echo is more of the anti-healing, because I guess this build is, like, yeah, heal, and then I can insta down you, you know? I don't know. Would you, did you guys prefer Blood Echo? I, I don't know. I think I do prefer Blood Echo, though. Uh, the perk is fun to utilize, though.